Here is a short tutorial on how to get started with Music Kraken. To start simple, we will create a keyboard module and connect it to an output module so that you can play your first notes. And give a few examples of how to make that setup more useful and interesting. To start, go to the editor view and delete all notes. One way to start a new project is to go to the file menu and press the new project button, which creates a simple setup with a keyboard for you. Now tap on each note and delete it. So the editor should now be empty. Now tap on the plus sign in the top right corner. On the three buttons on the right side select input if it is not already active, select the keyboard in the list and tap on create. Now you should see a new keyboard node. It has one input port MIDI in and a few output ports. Next we will need an output module. Tap on the plus sign again. This time select output on the right. You should now see a list of possible output modules. You can send the MIDI events either to another device in your local network using the core MIDI network module or the SNARP network MIDI, which is my own cross-platform implementation of this. You can send it to a computer connected via USB cable or another app in the same device that supports background audio with a virtual MIDI connection using the MIDI output module. On iOS you can also host audio unit instruments, which are musical instruments that are included in some apps downloaded from the App Store. And I added a very simple synthesizer called SimpleSynth. It cannot do that much, but it is perfect for tutorials like this, because all other output modules depend on external devices or what audio units you have installed on your device. If you prefer to already use one of the other modules, feel free to do so. Back in the editor, drag the new node a bit to the right and the keyboard node a bit to the left. The app is optimized to use a setup from left to right, but you can of course place them anywhere you like. If you want, you can tap on the cogwheel of the simple themes node to see the settings for this. Tap on the waveform drop down and select square or whatever to make the sound a bit more interesting, just for the fun of it. Now touch the MIDI out port of the keyboard node and drag it a bit. You should see a line coming out of the MIDI out port. Drag this line over to the MIDI in port of your output module and release it when you are over the port. The ports should now be connected. So every time you press a key on the keyboard, it should create the MIDI note on event and send that to your output module. And if you release the key, it will send a MIDI note off to stop the sound again. Let's do exactly this now. Tap the arrow button on the top left corner to get back to the main view. Press a few keys to see if you can hear a sound. If you use the simple synth as I did in this example, you should hear a simple wave sound. If you do not hear anything, please increase the volume of your device. If you still do not hear anything when using simple synth, please send me an email with a description of your device because that is probably a bug. Now that you can play notes, congratulations! You now have the simplest setup possible in Music Kraken. Okay, it's just a keyboard, nothing fancy. Let's make it more interesting. Go back to the editor view by tapping on the arrow button in the top right corner. Now touch on the green Y port on the keyboard node, drag the line over to the MIDI in port of the output node and release it. This will create a value to MIDI converter. Maybe drag it a bit down so that the setup looks better. The Y port is green, which means that this port sends numerical values. The value that the Y port sends can be changed by sliding up or down on the keyboard key, which is perfect for changing the modulation while playing. For those that do not know MIDI that well, modulation is the thing that is changed when manipulating the mod wheel on your musical keyboard. Which is why this is the default setting in the created value to MIDI converter. If you now go back to the main view, press one or more keys and slide your finger up and down, you should hear changes in the sound you create. Now let us create a second connection. Connect the X port with the MIDI in port. The value the X port sends can be changed by sliding sideways on the keyboard. By default, the now created value to MIDI converter also converts this to modulation, which would be kind of boring, so we can change this. Tap on the cogwheel of the new value to MIDI converter to show its settings. The value to MIDI converter is currently the module with the most settings. 
You can change on which MIDI channel the generated MIDI events should be sent, the input range which is automatically set to a useful range when connecting a green to an orange port, but sometimes need to be adjusted depending what you want. You can invert that range so that higher values are converted to lower output values and change the type of the generated MIDI events. And there are more settings depending on the type. If you tap the type drop down, you can see that you can convert the input values to control change events, to notes, to channel pressure events or pitch bend events. We will keep the control change type. Now tap on the target controller drop down. This shows a list of possible control change events that can be sent. Which events make sense really depends on the target instrument that you want to control. Check the manual of your virtual instrument or synthesizer you want to control to see which ones it supports. The ones that almost all instruments support are modulation and channel volume. And because Simple Synth currently also only supports these two types, let us do select that. So select channel volume and press OK. Now if you go back to the menu view, you can still change the modulation as before by sliding vertically, but you now can also change the volume by sliding horizontally, all while playing the keyboard. Ok, maybe you think this is still just a keyboard and still boring, so why not create something like this? By now you should know why the app has Kraken in its name. Now that you know the basics, it shouldn't be too difficult to set up something like this. You can connect whatever you want, but I will create other tutorials to demonstrate some of the more useful setups.